and Gladys. Starring Harry Morgan and Kara Williams. Brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's Cereals. The best to you each morning. That's right, sisters, strikingly similar, and with many similar items on their grocery lists, including Kellogg's cereals. But this sister shops just for two, herself and her husband. So her breakfast assortment is Kellogg's Request Pack, the adult assortment, four different kinds, Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, Special K, and 40% Bran Flakes. Six individual servings. The assortment adults requested. On the other hand, her sister wants a wider choice. Her assortment is Kellogg's Variety Pack. Eight different cereals, 10 individual servings. Sweetened and unsweetened cereals a family with children wants. For a variety of ages, you'll like Variety Pack. For adults only, you'll probably choose Request Pack. Your best choice either way. Kellogg's best to you. Let's clear the dishes. Oh, we've got lots of time. What movie are we going to see? It's a new French film. Nobody asked me, but I can't stand foreign films. Why? I always get a stiff neck trying to read the subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, honey. Next Saturday night, we'll see an American film. We're skipping next Saturday. Pete's going to be in Santa Barbara at the Veterans Convention. I don't know, Gladys. I don't think I'll go this year. Oh, Pete, you owe it to them to go. After all, you're one of their big heroes. Pete Porter was a war hero? Well, of course. Ernie, didn't you know? Go on, Pete, tell him about it. Oh, Gladys, you know I don't like to talk about that. Now, don't be so bashful. Go on, Pete, tell him. Gladys, if you don't mind, I'd rather <clears throat> skip it. That's ridiculous. Ernie wants to hear it. Go on. What did he do? What did he do? Why, he practically single handed Gladys! Pete was on patrol in the middle of the steaming jungle. Suddenly, the silence was broken by the sound of two bullets. <laughs> Pete quickly dropped to the ground behind some bushes. Then suddenly, from the distance, he heard a voice. Hello, Yankee. Are you pal? How so? How things in Boston, California? How Dodgers doing? How Mata Moreau? You kid, huh? Oh, Gladys, come on. But my Pete was too smart to give away his position. That's not true. I had just never been to Boston, California with Marilyn Monroe. Crawling on his belly, Pete outflanked the entire patrol of snipers, disarmed every one of them, and took away the general samurai sword single-handed. Hey, Gladys, that's enough. Now, you better clear this stuff out of here or we'll be late for the movie. Okay. That's my hero. Oh, how thrilling. We really owe you a big debt of gratitude. Oh, forget it. I was only doing my duty. <laughs> Come on, Peg. You know, that's the most exciting story I've ever heard. Oh, well, I get goose pimples every time I think about it. We're lucky he's here. How true. Do you realize how dangerous all oh, those... <laughs> I thought you spent the whole war clerking in a PX. <laughs> What's this New Guinea bit? All right, it was New Jersey. <laughs> this whole story you told Gladys was a big fib. Well, Ernie, if you spent the whole war clerking in a PX, would you admit it to Peggy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Every man wants to be a hero to his wife. Right. But what a fantastic story. <laughs> it all started when Gladys found this samurai sword in my trunk. Don't tell me they sold samurai swords at the PX. Oh, I won it off the top sergeant in an all-night poker game. If you think that story about New Guinea was fantastic, let me tell you about this poker game. We started to play at Ready, about... Ernie? 